coming to America to develop his basketball talent, Tan Jihao of Jiangsu province has become Chris Tan. Basketball fans on both sides of the Pacific are hyping up the prospects for a young talent who combines speed, a nice cool temperament and a burning ambition. He joined the Oak Hill Academy School in mouth of Wilson, Virginia four months ago. The school has several Chinese pupils, but Chris is the first promising basketball player. By coming to this US high school, Chris Tang is getting in the game early, providing him with an opportunity to shoot for the big time. The pressure is obvious when the school itself has a long-standing endorsement deal with the sportswear manufacturer Nike and the popularity of basketball in China adds an additional level of pressure exclusively on Chris. But Chris is single-minded, focusing on the next steps he needs to take to further his ambitions. Uh, right now my goal is to uh, play college basketball first. Chris has spent several years within the U.S. school system, firstly as a pupil in Alabama and more recently another school in Virginia. There he was the most talented player on his team. At Oak Hill he's only one of several promising players and is not yet on the starting lineup. He's expected to do that next year. I choose that because I come here I can play basketball and I get a good education at the same time. No, I just play basketball every day, get a six-hour practice. I actually go to school and uh, uh, get a good education. Yeah, and play basketball. James, what's another thing the Republicans did in the South that they changed the South? Chris is quiet and softly spoken when compared with some of his more extrovert American classmates. But he's not alone because three other players are foreign from Lithuania, Spain and Senegal. And he is starting to adapt to the more jocular style of American humor. Though he's still really puzzled by some of the high school traditions, like wearing pajamas to school on special days. The school also restricts access to the internet and mobile phones. And he's found it difficult to adjust to several aspects of normal American life here particularly the food. Food is a lot different. Yeah, we, we don't eat ketchup back home, and the people put the ketchup here and everything, like a hamburger, french fry, but I feel different. Um, I will say I still feel a little bit uncomfortable right now. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's a lot better since I got here. I think being here at a boarding school, um, you know, we kind of, it's discipline. It's not a military school, but it's very disciplined. His day's set up for him. I think that helps him too. It's very structured and, you know, he's, he gets up and goes to breakfast and he goes to school at the same time. He practices, the team has a study hall at night. Uh, we go to church together, we eat meals in the cafeteria together. It's very regimented, so I think that's good for him to get into, into a swing of, of things that way. Oak Hill Academy is situated within the isolated Appalachian mountain chain. It's never been a negative. Some people always go, how do, you get, how do you get those players to come? How do you get Chris Tang from China to come to Mouth of Wilson, Virginia? But I've never had somebody visit and say, oh, I'm not coming because of where you're located. It's, and the parents really like it. Uh, you know, people can't bother them and get in their ear and tell them different things. And they're isolated here where they're just concentrating on going to school and becoming a better basketball player. Since becoming head coach 28 years ago, Steve Smith has won eight national championships, including last season and produced 24 NBA players, including stars like Kevin Durant and Carmelo Anthony. I want you to go one for one or over for one, okay? Coach Smith says he should become more physically imposing and adjust to the psychological demands of the U.S. game. The whole coach system is different, and the play system is different. I have to use to it in a short period of time. It's competitive, and I need to get in the weight room often just to get a big and strong, get a physical. Chris has been obsessed with NBA basketball since he was a small boy. He doesn't like to be described as the new Jeremy Lin, though he admires Lin's rise to prominence. People still follow him like crazy, and uh, 
I've been watching the Houston Rocky game when I was younger. I follow them all the time. So I look up to the NBA player all the time. There we go, there we go. Coach Smith is concerned not to pressure his players too much. There we go, Chris Tang. We've talked about it, and I've, he's a pretty level-headed kid. He's not thinking he's the next Jeremy Lin. He's not thinking he's the savior of basketball for China. He just, he knows he's Chris Tang, and he wants to, he wants to play college basketball in the U.S. Right now, my goal is just to uh, play college basketball, see what's given to me. Hopefully, hopefully make a professional, hopefully play NBA. And uh, I just kind of work on my goal all the way through my life.